In this video, I'll be comparing GitHub Copilot versus Cursor versus Cloth Code, three powerful AI coding assistants operating at different depths and scales. Whether you are looking for autocomplete, project-wide intelligence, or a terminal-based AI that truly understands your code base, there is a tool here for your style. So let's dive into what each one does best, for who it will work best, and which one fits your coding workflow. So first I'll go for what they do and who they are for. GitHub Copilot acts as a smart autocomplete tool embedded in IDEs like VS Code, JetBrains, and NeoVim. It suggests code snippets, completes functions or classes, and helps you write quickly by finishing what you start. It's perfect for developers who want seamless real-time support while typing. Then Cursor is an AI-native developer environment, technically a fork of VS Code with AI deeply integrated. It understands your entire project, lets you query the codebase in natural language, performs smart rewrites across files, and protects your data with privacy-first design. Great for developers who want AI-powered tooling without leaving their editor. Then Cloud Code takes AI to the terminal. It's an agentic assistant running Cloud Opus 4.1 under the hood, pulls in entire project context, and lets you operate at a higher level, fixing issues, onboarding codebases, and running commands as well as refactoring and even drafting pull requests. It's ideal for coders who want full featured command line AI power. Now go over their key features in a bit more depth. So first GitHub Copilot auto-generates code and completes output across many languages. It offers deep IDE support and smooth inline suggestions and is built for speed and convenience during day-to-day -day coding. Then Cursor lets you use natural language to rewrite or refactor code project-wide. It indexes your entire projects, includes diff, viewer, accept, reject prompts, inline chat, and basically you are in control. It also prioritizes security and privacy with SOC2 compliance and local operation. And Cloud Code understands your full project context automatically. It's capable of agentic workflows, onboarding, issue triage, refactoring, executing commands, all via terminal, and it's built on Cloud Opus 4 with long-term memory and superior reasoning. Now we'll go over the developer experience and workflow you will have with all three of these. GitHub Copilot feels like your IDE is finishing your sentences. That's autocomplete with power. It's quick and lightweight, but doesn't think beyond what's in your current file. Cursor feels like chatting with your editor. You ask and it understands the project context and helps, whether it's refactoring, debugging, or searching. It keeps you in good modular rhythm and transparent control. And Cloud Code feels like having a coding partner in your terminal. It thinks across your code base, runs tasks, explains decisions, and executes workflows. It's best when you want a strong project-wide AI support without a GUI. So which one should you choose? First, I would choose GitHub Copilot if you want fast AI suggestions right inside your editor and if you prefer minimal setup and maximal typing speed. Then I would go with Cursor if you want in-editor AI that understands your full project, if you value privacy, diff control and deeper code manipulation tools, and I would go with Cloud Code if you operate from the terminal and need project level intelligence, or if you want autonomous AI that can run commands, refactor and onboard without GUI layers. So overall, GitHub Copilot is a quick autocomplete ideal for daily coding speed. Cursor is an AI native IDE that provides project wide context and interactive refactoring. And Cloud Code is a Gentic CLI focused AI that understands and navigates your entire code base. So that concludes this comparison of GitHub Copilot versus Cursor versus Cloud Code. If this comparison helped you make a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.